Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Terraria Calamity. Now in this video, I want to be focusing mainly on bosses and progression. Now the first boss I want to beat is the Hive Mind because I got it really low last time and I know I can already defeat it. So I want to do that first so that any of the drops can help with the bosses that I don't know if I can defeat already. Uh, this is episode 2, let's just get right into it, right into the boss fight, let's go. Okay, so I do have the Hive Cyst right here. So we can actually fight this boss now. Uh, actually, let me drink a Swiftness and Iron Skin real quick. Actually, we're getting overwhelmed by mobs. We might not want to start the boss fight right now, but uh, I think we're going to anyway. Alright, let's go. Uh, these slimes. You can't jump over them because they're so big. Now, if you notice, I did actually modify the arena. I removed the middle platform since I got a grappling hook. I can easily grapple up to the top layer instead of having to jump up a couple of platforms like I did before. Now preferably I would be over or under the boss and not on the same level. I think that's when, um, when I get hit a lot. Alright, that's a lot of mobs, let's uh, kill those quickly. It's the Nimbuses too. Those little clouds that spawn, they do so much damage. Alright, it's very close to being dead and it spawned enemies. I'm guessing it's a last ditch attempt at the um, boss to survive. Oh come on, 200 HP, let's do this. Yes. Yes. Oh shoot, there's a second stage. I didn't know it was their second stage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay. I got fooled by the health bar there. Oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't know there was a second stage. Okay, so I was in the underground desert and I found this giant creature. It's called a Nidrian. And it's easy to kill. And I just want to see what it drops because it looks kind of like a mini boss on this. I definitely don't want to go down there with it. I don't know how much melee damage it does. Okay, it looks like it drops victory shards and a bunch of ocean stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I've just been grinding out desert mobs for a little bit. As you can see, I've got a stormline mandible, desert feathers, a bunch of other stuff. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because I want to fight the desert scourge. Now the reason I'm fighting the Desert Scourge and not the Eye of Cthulhu, like, um, like I said I would before, is if you go to the boss logs, the Desert Scourge is only the second mob or boss on the list, so I figured it would be a good way to start since I can't summon the King Slime anymore. Um, also I did make a full Wolfron set, however I did find these Ancient Shadow Greaves. I don't know how I got them, I imagine I killed something for them. And they're actually better than the full Wolf Warren set, even with the set bonus, so I figured I would use that. If you're curious, the set bonus is... where where they go? Oh, I threw them. The set bonus is plus 5 defense when below 50% life, and plus 3 defense. So, the set bonus isn't bad, but um, these Ancient Shadow Greaves are definitely better. Okay, so I did a little bit of research, and I found out that the Victory Shards can be used to craft Victide Bars. Um, you also need a couple other things like seashells, coral, um, I forget, there's one more thing. And conveniently, the Nidrians drop all four of them. You've got the Victory Shards, the seashells, the coral, and the starfish. That's what the last one is. So, I need 24 of them for the full armor set. I have 12 victory shards and various numbers of the ocean items. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding to get those um, those items for the full Victide set. 
and then we'll actually finish off the bosses that we fought before and hopefully it'll be a lot easier this time. Okay, so as you can see in chat, I got the you feel an evil presence watching you message in chat. So that means the I Cthulhu is going to spawn tonight. Um, I don't know if we're ready. I really don't. If you were curious, I did get enough. It's hard to think right now. Okay. Yeah, I did get enough victory shards to make the full set of armor. I think you craft them at the um, anvil. Let's see. Yeah, big tide bars right here. I'm just gonna make everything into them. Boom. Maybe we can craft some armor before the fight. Oh, there it is. Okay. Put so shield at the ocean. Okay. Yeah, this this um armor set's really good. Um should I go to the corruption arena? I'm also I'm almost thinking about just not doing that because of all the um Oh dear. Because of all the extra mobs there. I'm gonna maybe stay around the house. Also, I got a new accessory that releases sparks whenever I get hit. I got them from the um, Nidrian, so that's good. And I definitely could have used a little boost in my, in my accessories a lot. Okay. Didn't think I'd be doing this now, but... Okay, second stage. Mm, yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. You see, bad armor, no arena. All that stuff. I got a heal at the nurse, probably. But uh, I didn't think I was going to take that much damage in those attacks, so... I didn't think I would need to. But anyway, let's craft the armor. Also, I do have another suspicious looking eye, so... Um, that's not really a setback at all. Okay. Now the real question is, do I want to go summons? Because I can. I can go summoner. With this set. Now what does this do? Increases defense by 5 when submerged in liquid. Increases movement speed and life regen while wearing the Victide armor. Okay. Wait, mm, it's kind of expensive. Five big tide bars. Eh. We'll see. We'll see. That has a lot more defense than my current set, so that's good. Let's just craft the things that I know I'm going to need. I know I'm going to need the chest plate and also the leggings. Now, how many different options for helmets are there? It looks like there's five, one for each class. I think the Victide helmet's definitely the best. It doesn't give much defense, but it gives 9% increased minion damage, which is a lot. Yeah, I'm just going to craft this. Oh shoot, I have 14 Victide bars left. I thought he needed 24, but uh, I guess not. What, what else can I craft? The boomerang. Um, the pickaxe and hammer. Seems like Big Tide's pretty weak. It can only mine meteorite. Alright, yeah, let's make the shield of the ocean. I think I'm going to save these for now. Okay, so I'm at the Desert Scourge Arena. I have five Desert Medallions, and I'm thinking about going just pure Summoner for this. I have um, the Sun Staff, and I also have the Squirrel Staff. Um, now, the step bonus for my armor gives me this little... I think it's called a Sea Urchin. Yeah, it's a Sea Urchin. And it actually fires little... I guess spikes at, at um, enemies. So that will help a lot. That doesn't um, take a minion slot, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I can have the Sun Staff out, 
Then what's, um, let's add this too. Okay, before I had the, um, okay, there we go. I don't think we're supposed to be able to have the Sun Staff and the Sea Urchin out at the same time, but, um, I glitched it out, so we're going to use it. I'm going to drink both these potions and then spawn the Desert Scourge. Alright, if the summons don't do enough damage, I will just uh, switch to my other weapons. Alright, these things are crazy. Yeah, these things are doing no damage. That's much better. I think the two little ones are dead. At least, I know one of them are. Worm is insane. Ah, got stuck by the thorns there. Yeah, this block is really easy. Okay. Um, first of all, there's a lot. I got a reversity coin? Hold on. I want to read all this. The depths of the underground desert are rumbling. The desert wind is blowing furiously. I'm guessing that's the sandstorm. Well, I mean, I know it's the sandstorm, but what I'm trying to say is I think sandstorms happen now. Like, constantly. Desert storage, what is this? What is this? The paper tube. Uh, the inventory is always full. I need the magic storage mod. Actually, I think I am going to get the magic storage mod. Now, can I pick this up? I think it might just be a marker for where I beat the Desert Scourge. Um, I just need to find something. I'm gonna get more of my healing potions for now. Okay, I can pick it up. Oh, let's take this, like, lore. Okay, well, I'm gonna go home. And let's see what we got. I do need to empty my inventory first. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get the magic storage mod because this is uh, pretty bad. I just quick stack the nearby chest. I'm just going to do that. There we go. Contains blueprints of a random pre-hard mode accessories. Used to unlock. How do I use this? Um, I don't know how to use that. I'll figure it out later, I guess. Alright, I'll read that at the end of the video. Alright, one, two, three, open. Okay, coral, starfish, victory shards, a lot of them too. Pointy scourge of the desert. There's rogue damage. Okay, so that's that's solid. That's solid. It'd be nice if it was daytime, because uh, it's a little difficult to see. Most ocean enemies now become friendly and provides water breathing. Okay, that's chill, especially for the um, abyss. That's filled with water. And the angling kit. Did it just turn into a torch? I am so confused. What just happened? Did I drop it? Where'd it go? It didn't open, I don't think. Am I just being dumb? Where is it? <laughs> like, I, I want I want that. It's an angling kit. No clue. I have no clue. Okay, well, if it shows up, I'll open it, but if not, then just whatever, I guess. So... Oh, this is piercing too. I think this is time to end the video. Uh, if you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. And as promised, I'm now going to read the lore for the Desert Scourge. The great sea worm appears to have survived the extreme heat and has even adapted to it. What used to be a majestic beast swimming through the water has now become a dried up and glutinous husk, constantly on a voracious search for its next meal. Brave this item for an increase to defense while in the desert or sunken sea. However, you'll do decreased damage while in these areas due to being a husk of your former self. Kind of like me. Okay, so I did figure out that the angler bag um, 
it didn't disappear. It just doesn't have a 100% chance to drop anything. So basically I used it and I didn't get anything. Also, I want to check out the boss loot for Desert Scourge. Okay. So there are many things that I haven't gotten yet. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them today. I'm just going to grind the boss off camera a bit. And uh, I'll show you in tomorrow's episode. Have a good day, everyone.